God. Sephiroth. Wait a minute. Okay, Hold so on. this is the VV Sephiroth oh. against a Fal uh, against Swab's Falco. So an interesting duo, an interesting pairing here, an interesting matchup. Uh, okay. To keep in mind, both of these players will be making top 24. It's just a matter of which one gets on winner, stays on winner side, and which one moves down to loser side. I mean, uh, ooh, and Suave is starting off real quick. I mean, it's kind of the Falco effect, right? Mm -hmm. the, ever since players like Tilde have been doing super well, ever since Larry's just picked up the Falco again, everybody's trying out the Falco, subscribing to the agenda, if you will, <laughs> <laughs> and seeing if w this character is indeed all that. Meanwhile, Sephiroth on the other side, kind of nobody knows his true placement in an offline environment, but with the hype going around, this might be our next top tier. I mean, it really should. Nobody really plays them too often. The only other person that plays Sephiroth is Zayn, and they, you know, pull out, pull, pull out Sephiroth from time to time. But if I'm going to be completely honest, I also think that Vivi is using Sephiroth specifically because of how many times they play Tilde in a given month. <laughs> I mean, for sure, they have uh, had the most absolute time struggling against Solde, and they even told me <laughs> that they um, don't really like when um, people hype up Falco as a character. Even though, hi I mean, uh, is Falco just a little bit hype? I know you think Falco's a little bit hype. Don't tell me that Falco's not a little bit hype. I mean, he's a spacey, so like all the spacies are kind of hype, in my opinion. Uh, as we see the hypest counter, perhaps the, the overhyped counter, maybe, depending on your perspective, uh, the Skintilla blowing up Falco off of back air despite going all the way across the stage. And maybe we're getting into a little bit one of the weaknesses of Falco as a character as the wing comes on deck. Finding your kills as Falco often means looking for your raw kill confirms. Like you're looking for up tilt back air, you're looking for down air into imagination. It's a lot harder to get those raw kill moves, especially on a character as surprisingly nimble as Sephiroth. Even though one back air will kill, landing it is going to be the, the troublesome part. And landing the sweet spot is Sour Spot back air. Ooh. Missed attack. The missed attack. But I liked how deep he went, right? He mm -hmm. went down there. He was not d deterred by the low recovery and... Sometimes you have to be that ballsy in order to go and find these stocks, especially in a match for winner semis when you're playing against a player that's a little bit more established. You need to show them that you have no fear. I mean, absolutely, for sure. And I definitely love the way that, you know, Suave is trying to, you know, um, actually kind of break the space when it comes to this character. I just honestly think that um, Vivi just kind of knows a little bit too much to be able to kind of just keep, you know, the, um, Falco at the ledge, just doing what they should do to not really get hit by the, Fal um, the you know, the starters from Falco as they get grabbed into out throw and not really going to take too much off of it. Yeah, a little bit too uh, low of a percent for down air to send into tumble, so he didn't even need to tech. He just land on the platform, run straight off, and here, yeah, Sephiroth's got a mighty big sword, and that wasn't even the sweet spot. Uh, <laughs> Sephiroth F tilt, ladies and gentlemen, it is a hell of a move. Yeah, it's, it's super hard to challenge that in terms of a, a two frame. You're either going for the edge guard or you're respecting the octo slash. And Suave is a little bit rusty when it comes to his full offense. He's landing his hits and he's getting decent damage off of it, but he doesn't continue the damage. He doesn't continue his advantage. It's combo, then back to neutral. I mean, for sure, and that's exactly what you kind of need with the type of character like Falco. If you can't have the advantage that, you know, a Falco should be able to have, you're going to struggle like we are seeing right now with, you know, VV at 84%. Getting that down throw, not going to get too much off it, but they are, they have the center stage. They have all the room right now to kind of just keep, you know, Suave at the ledge. But that edge is just going to put right back off stage. Oh, God. This is uh, a trick. The F tilt. That was so unfortunate for the uh, for Suave in order to try and get something started, but F tilt ends up trading because it is just so big. And with Wing Online and all of this extra mobility on top of that 30% damage buff, we're gonna see the uh, just kind of Sephiroth isms in a lot of ways. As oh, the counter uh, falling victim to the counter punish. But we're going to see a lot of reverse up air. I think as soon as Vivi manages to get on the ground, these back airs and these up airs, like spacing them out correctly, will start killing Falco. All right, oh, hey, now. <laughs> oh, just maybe a little bit soon. Oh, it's good. There we go. <laughs> just spacing them out, expecting Falco players to want to come in, uh, especially off ledge, since they have really good rising aerials with things like fair and things like the Falco Phantasm that goes so quick and potentially <laughs> either reset neutral or get you a punish. 
Falco but Phantasm. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. You can't tell me it's not a funny movie. It's better than, like, all the other ones. Because you have um, Foxfire, Wolf Flash. Isn't... What is, what is um Fox's... Fox Illusion. Fox Illusion. Okay. It's just a little bit funny. <laughs> just, just a little bit. It's, is it the the word Phantasm? Or is it the word yes. Falco? Oh, my God. It reminds me of, like... It reminds me of um, Fate. You know the Fate series? No. Oh. I, I know it. I know it. I've never played it. It's okay. You don't need to as long as you know it. It just it just reminds me of a, a lot of other words that they probably would use there. Fair enough. It is a very uh, seldom used, very edgy word just like by <laughs> itself. <laughs> I mean, look at all of this advantage coming in from VV. And just speaking of it, 62%. Look at this. What's going on? They're right. having such a hard time and they're not... You know, doing the Falco advantage things, and that's what's kind uh -oh. of killing them. Gonna get that downer, and He's gonna. Yeah. Did Vivi not have a jump? It looked like Vivi didn't he, have a jump. Yeah, he did. He got his jump taken by, uh, after he used his jump, and then got stuffed out by the dare. So that's just a Sephiroth without any means. He had, he could have angled himself properly, but the way that Swab was spaced, he could have easily gone for another dare. So. It was just hard. That's absolutely crazy. So Vivi's sitting already a stock down. I mean, if Vivi can just get the ledge traps going on, they can definitely get something going on right here, but not because look at all this advantage and just a random up there to take that stock. That was the get out get out of hit stun with a button. A landing has become ever more popular, especially since Sephiroth has a lot of means of strong A landing options to mix himself up. So getting out of hit stun with a big button like that. Certainly going to be effective if Swap ends up overextending, which he has done more than once in this set. That wasn't the first example of such a uh, instance. And with Wing on deck, you're left definitely looking for all of these punishes. The sweet spot and the shadow flare comes on line as well. I mean, if I'm going to be completely honest, look at all this honest. damage. Look at all this damage. <laughs> like, oh, oh my God, that was such a good call out. <laughs> Literally. I was just about to say how Vivi was calling out the fact that, you know, Suave, Suave hasn't actually hit too many of their confirms, but I mean, speaking of just calling out, that was such a good call out on that roll away, but speaking of call outs, I mean, we're already at 34%. If Vivi can't take this stock, this is going to be a game three situation. I have me thinks. Uh, but there is the backer, but man, like Suave is come onto town and city, and maybe it's just the comfortability on this stage, but he's playing with a lot more confidence. He's committing to a lot more of his combos, committing to these reads, as we saw with Stock too. And it's starting to snowball a little bit, as Falco can do with that sweet spot back air. Sephiroth certainly not living on the small side blast zones of town and city at 100. No, sir, that's Swab taking game two over Vivi's Sephiroth. That's scary. <laughs> I mean... That's really good. Um, right now, I... It's like, look at that. Look at how far he ran. Oh, okay. I guess we're not going to get a replay on that one, but... <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see here. We're going to slow it down to 30 FPS. Look at how far he runs. Okay, he gets F tilted. And then... Gets F... Oh, it's after the second one. Look at how far he's going. <laughs> it covers all of that space. That's so crazy. And Falco's not exactly known for a fast run speed. So that that's just he knew big brain. The, the man knew and the man forced him forced Vivi back to his hero while going to PS2. A generally very good hero stage. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like this was more just uh, Vivi has a lot better lead trapping than what we saw with um, their Sephiroth. And this is where we can kind of just see Vivi end it pretty well. They're already at 70%. Suave, you know, is looking like they're just struggling against Hero. 100, just already 124%. Do you see how much damage Vivi is doing right now? And the up tilt, gonna put them in a very bad spot right now. Only taking 4% of Vivi's end with that tech, uh, third, second up tilt, gonna kick that stock. That was just a whole bunch of neutral where um, Suave didn't actually get to play the game at all. And that was kind of crazy. It's impressive how much bounce does put a pressure on uh, on Suave here. Like, <laughs> despite the <laughs> despite him having the ability to reflect projectiles himself with a flame with a frame one reflector, Falco's lasers are surprisingly important to his neutral, given how much of the how much people tote his combo game and his individual buttons and how all good that stuff is. 
but without something like the Blaster ready and able to cover this full screen space, oh! Vivi gets to run away with it a little bit, and quite literally in some of these cases with the run what, runaway menu, pulling out that Kaboom. Let me tell you something. Hit Vivi has been playing super well with just understanding what to do against Suave because they have consistently shown us that they understand that they can do situations like that whenever Suave is in that lead oh, with no. that double downer into up smash. Not going to take anything, but they are at 80% right now with Bounce just completely destroying that grab. See but what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? Bounce is surprisingly important. If no throw armor, like with up throw, then the Bounce is just going to hit <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yep. That's what you get for that freaking that read that you that you thought you could go for. Literally, Vivi knew they were gonna stay on that platform right there, up tilted and killed. And I just really love the way Top that Vivi was so actually funny. just absolutely just spacing their moves to the max and not only spacing their moves they knew that they can just up be out of shield every time that falco was near them i was trying to say that just a little bit before but it was really just good on you know vivi's part understanding like how you know um they actually wanted to approach and just completely just making it, it just ew. it was so good on vivi's part that i just really loved the way that they approached that whole situation